I started dreaming when I was a bit older, maybe. My name is Erik Johansson and I'm a photographer from Sweden, living in Prague, and uh, I create surrealistic images. To me, to create an idea is really a long process of thinking about the same thing for a long time. I think a lot of the ideas are actually born in the moment when I don't really expect it. It can be when I'm out for a run or when I'm about to go to sleep and I had to get up and, and write it down. So I think in a way, when I'm a little bit bored, it's usually the best way of creating. So boredom is a bit underestimated, I think. So my process is divided basically into three different steps, and that is planning, trying to come up with an idea, and then it's about photographing all the different parts, and finally it's about putting the pieces of the puzzle together. And it sounds pretty straightforward, but this process can be very long and uh, sometimes different than I originally imagined. Uh, I always try to photograph as much as possible, or capture as much as possible in camera, so I try to avoid Photoshop as much as I can, because the realism has always been very important to me, and I just want it to feel like a place that you can be in, that you feel like you're part of it. And I've figured that the best way to create that is to use a camera and try to build up as much as possible of that scene. So I think that my work has changed a bit over the years. I think it used to be more about trying to create something that looks nice and looks cool and it looks interesting. But over the years it has become more important to incorporate a story into it and why is it happening and ask the viewer why did it become like this and what will happen next. I think that we are all sensitive to trends to some extent because I think it's uh, our influences from the world around us and what we see. But I try not to do something because people want that. I think it's more about trying to look into myself and try to produce what I want. Because I think uh, I noticed that maybe some works are more popular than others, but I don't really want to create something for it being popular. I want to create it because it needs to be created. I used to be an evening person, but I became more of a morning person in recent years. And uh, I think I get more work done in the morning because I'm more efficient. But in terms of creativity, I didn't, don't really know when it will strike. I think it's more about just being ready with a with pen when, when an idea comes there. The way it starts is usually with sketches. And uh, you can see here, we're sitting in my studio in front of my uh, sketches here. and. It starts usually with a sketch, with a simple idea, and as soon as I come up with an idea, I have to sketch it down, and then I usually put it up on the wall. And uh, it doesn't always become anything out of it, but uh, I just let it sit there a bit, and then I tr walk by it sometimes, and I look at it. And if it still feels interesting after a couple of weeks, it's usually something worth following up on, and, and seeing if I can work on it more. So after I have uh, decided that an idea is worth uh, continuing working on, I usually try to figure out who is an image, where could this take place, and how can I do it. And there's usually a kind of problem solving connected to each product, which uh, requires different amount of uh, you know planning or where can I photograph different parts if there's different parts or how much can I build the props and actually bring it out on location. So that's a big part of it as well. Um, sometimes I go out on locations that I have in my mind and uh, take some test pictures as well. So I kind of want the end result to look pretty spontaneous and simple, but usually it's like a lot, a lot of planning to figure out how everything should look the way they do. I think that where I live and where I spend my time also influence my work a lot because I think my biggest inspiration is really the world around us and what we see. 
And I think that's really important to just observe the world and try to process that into something that becomes art. And I think that's the most true way for me to work, I think. I think by creating art, I have become more of an observant person. I think I'm just looking at the world more uh, like, I'm not sure differently, but I'm kind of like just looking at the world and trying to figure out why things are the way they are and also kind of like try to find uh, reasons for how I can, I can use that and, and reflect that in my, ob my observations in my own work as well. So when the test pictures are done and I have a rough mock-up of how I want it to come together, I uh, usually photograph uh, a model and a model can sometimes be a friend or someone that I know and sometimes it can be a professional model as well. It really depends but uh, many times when I think of an idea I also think of a person that I kind of have seen or met somehow. To me it's somehow connected and it's my way of kind of creating a portrait of someone around me as well I think. Um, the most important to me is not that the model is feeling like a traditional model, but it should feel like a person that give uh, the viewer a point of reference to feel like they are part of the scene and uh, to also feel a, a sense of scale maybe. And, and uh, I never really retouch my models, I just want to change the place they are in, but I want the people to be the most normal thing in the image possible. To create one image, it's really a lot about uh, planning, it, about trying to figure out where can this take place, why is it happening and how is it happening. So that means that most of the time is really spent trying to figure out how to do it. And then the second step would be to photograph all the parts I need and the yeah, last step in the process would be to combine the images together. To stay motivated is not always that easy, I think, because uh, Every day can kind of become a little bit the same, that you have to work on the same retouching or the same uh, planning for a product that you're getting a little bit tired of. And to me, I think the best way to stay motivated is just to try to do something different sometimes. Maybe go for a run, go climbing or just hang out with friends. But I really think that um, the hardest thing is to really force yourself to be creative or force yourself to do something. I think the best medicine is just to try to do something different. So after I've photographed all the different parts, I put it into the computer and uh, even though if I just need a few different parts to combine, I have always photographed hundreds of different possibilities and that can be that I have adjusted the light a little bit, I have different positions of the models, maybe I have also moved the camera a bit. So there's a lot of different factors. Uh, I have a sense of what it is that I want to capture already on location. But it's not until I start putting it together and start looking through the material that I really know how I want it to be. So in terms of retouching, it's really about giving it time as well. I usually like to start by putting together a rough mock-up of what it is I want to create with the material that I have photographed. And then I usually start over and just do it more detailed. Uh, this process is usually spread out over several weeks or months because I never really know when I'm done with something. It's more about I need to work on it a bit and then I have to put it away in order to get some distance from it. And uh, usually the way that I see that I'm done is when I don't really know what else to change anymore. It's hard to say exactly how long one image takes because I think it's up to the image to decide that. But usually I work on several products at the same time and that means that I usually can finish some products faster and some takes more time and on average I create about 8 to 10 new products every year. I think what makes me most happy as an artist is to see my quite abstract idea come to life and be able to share that with others as well. Um, yeah. It's the simple answer, but it's the true one. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
When I'm done with the image, I usually post it in my social media and put it on my website. But uh, even though my process is digital uh, from basically the beginning until the end, when I produce the images, I really see the end product as a print, as a high quality print, because I think it's really a way, the way that I want this to be reproduced. Uh, that's how you can see it the way I wanted it to be. Because a monitor or a screen, you can never really control what device the user has. So. I think a print to me is still the, the final, final product of the work. It's not just about the representation of an image physically, but it's also about the choice of material, the choice of colors, the choice of size and everything. Just a whole package, I think, that makes it uh, something that is, I mean, that the artist has been deciding how it should be. It's really important to me. So the biggest size that I usually print is about 180 times 135 centimeters. I do some 150 times 150 prints as well. But anything bigger than that is hard to reproduce on a fine art paper and uh, it also be gets very difficult to frame as well, I would say. So usually, to me, that's a good size, like, I don't know if you see, so this. So today I'm working on both personal and commission products, but I would say a bigger part of it is the personal work. And uh, I started doing exhibitions about, what is it, seven years ago, eight years ago. And uh, I think to me it's really like the best way to really get the feeling of the works. I think to me the commission work is important sometimes to do and it's I choose which products I work on, but the personal work is really what's the most creative and the most free and where I can express myself. So that's why it has become more important to do the personal work and also to do exhibitions in order to share that also with an audience. Since I think that uh, a print is really the final representation of my work, that's why I also feel like an exhibition is the, the ultimate way of showing it as well. And, I also really enjoy meeting people and uh, creating the whole atmosphere in the exhibition is a big part of that as well. So it's almost like you're stepping into my world in a way and that's the kind of effect that I'm trying to do when I, when I do my exhibitions as well. The best advice I've ever received, um, it's very hard to say, I think, I think somehow that, I don't know who said it, but that anything can be possible if you just work hard enough for it, but I think it's something that, it sounds like a cliche, but I think it really is true that there are not really any shortcuts, but if you work hard and don't compare yourself to others so much, I think you can get anywhere you want.